In this session of DesignWorks TV, we're going to be talking about DesignWorks 2017 for SolidWorks. So here's a very interesting complex file. It's a scan of a, uh, a gun. Very high detailed. A part like this you would think would take hours, maybe even a day to model this. We're going to show you in less than five minutes from start to finish how we can complete a complete surface of this part. So let's get started. You'll notice a new tab has been created. This is the DesignWorks scan tab. It's for letting you build files with uh, STL data. So we loaded this through DesignWorks and we're going to go up and use our mesh features tool. What we want to do is split this into two pieces. So DesignWorks has a unique tool called Midplane. So we're going to just paint. We're going to hold down the left mouse button and paint on the mesh. This is a true mesh. This is not a graphical of dots and things. It's a real mesh. It has nearly 500,000 triangles in it. So we're going to go ahead and tell it we want to make a midplane through here. You can put the midplane wherever you want. So I'm going to say select a midplane. We made this very fast and efficient. We know you, the SolidWorks user, may not do reverse engineering every day. So we wanted to keep it very simple. You don't have to go through you know, 20, 30 tabs and go to school for, you know, a week or two. The most training is a couple hours. So there is our uh, midplane. I'm going to go ahead and select the midplane. Actually, go ahead and do control A. I want to paint everything. We can paint with a brush, 3D ball, normal, whatever. But in this application, I want to paint the whole thing. And I'm going to split it by the midplane. And I want two surfaces. So you can see it's very uh, self-explanatory and easy to use and we're going to tell it to go create the surface. So what it's doing now for people who have never done this before it's like taking saran wrap. We maximize the surface creation. Not like other companies that make thousand little triangles that make it almost impossible for you to redesign with. We maximize the surfaces. In this case we know this can be uh, made into two surfaces. So as you'll see now, it's processing the data. It's very fast and efficient. Um, again, 500,000 triangles. And DesignWorks gives you a nice heads up display. It talks about how many triangles, even tells you what features you've created. And it gives you a representative of the part size. This gun uh, is about, you know, a standard like nine millimeter gun that you'd have. In this case, we want to, we want to make a holster to fit this and also packaging. We didn't go through and make it fully uh, prismatic because it wasn't needed. But normal parts like this can take hours to process through other systems. And again, the way this fits this, you're going to be amazed at the fit. Because DesignWorks will also let you check mesh to mesh. That's what we'll do in the features tool. Then we'll go into the validation tool and check how the surface matches the mesh. Because we're going to go ahead and make this into native SOLIDWORKS surfaces. We'll trim it and knit it to make a full solid. So if you needed to print it you could or in this case they were making holsters. So at this point um, we're giving you some more feedback. We're uh, working on side two of this. It's fitting this data. You can go ahead and move and rotate this if you want. Do what you want to do with it and let it process. Other features can be made while this is processing. It's not just for complex surfaces. You can make planes, mid-planes, a sheet tool would like be for big objects, spheres. So you can make full parametric prismatic parts with DesignWorks as well as fully constrain your data. That's one of the neat things about DesignWorks. You have the ability to constrain data because the mesh is just floating. It's just sitting in space. The method we're using here is just creating natural freeform surfaces and creating them as accurate as we can. So we're about 95% done on the surfacing patch here. And we're going to start looking at wrapping the surface. So it's made its decisions on what it wants to do. And it's making the surface patches. Now we also could automatically trim these. Because there was only two, um, I went ahead and just, I'm going to show you the trimming uh, ourselves Because we left about a 15% overlap. So now it's going to process the two patches. And we hit the green checkbox. It'll go ahead and put all the data in the SOLIDWORKS tree. So 
It's like leaving all the work to Design Works while you can process and do other things. And again, this is a very complex part. We left every dimple, everything on there so you could see all the little features. And then we're going to go over and do a validation. And then we'll actually use our uh, validation, use the balloons. And then we'll generate our Excel report so you can see the deviation from the physical surface to the mesh. And you're going to be amazed at the accuracy that we're holding. So it's done. So we can come over here and we'll turn off the uh, mesh there and the references. This little mouse over lets you see the accuracy. We're holding tents. So that's the mesh to mesh. Let's go ahead and make the two surfaces. So now it's going to process and build two native SOLIDWORKS surfaces. Yes, even all those little dots and all those little areas, it's going to wrap all that. So notice in the tree, we're extracting the plane that's going to be shown, and then you'll see the two halves are here. So let's go ahead. We can show hide the mesh. Let's go ahead and show you the process to finish it. We're going to split it. We'll turn on our mid plane so you can see it. We use the surface tools, and we're going to trim this. Now, again, I could use auto trim. We wanted to show you how compatible it was with SOLIDWORKS, that if you want to use your own trimming, you can. We're going to say trim surface. We're going to use the, uh, you can pick out the tree or on the screen. It doesn't really matter. If you pick over here or off the extracted plane, doesn't really clear. There's your split plane. We want to keep this side. So there we have our trim tool and our two surfaces. And we're going to tell it to go trim it. Then we'll go ahead and we'll knit this. We left the resolution very high on this. We wanted to show you all the little dots, all the little nooks and crannies of the part. So there's our trim surface. We're going to go ahead and knit this now. So if you really wanted to print it, you could. We're going to do a knit surface. And we're going to create a solid out of it. And we're going to pick this half and this half here. We'll put the two bodies together. And we'll tell it to go ahead and knit. Next, we're going to use the DesignWorks validation and show you the accuracy of how we wrap. You'll notice we didn't do any fast forwarding. We didn't cut the tape out and do this. We wanted to show you the complete process. A lot of the other videos you watch, fast forwards and says 3.6 minutes later or 10 minutes later, you know, it's this or that. We wanted to show you the complete process. So there's the full knitted surface and there is your solid body. So we're going to take a look here at the validation. So you can see the integrity of this. It's amazing. That's the native SOLIDWORKS surface. So we're going to go ahead and check it out now. Let's see how accurate it is. We're going to check the features to the mesh. So we're going to come up here to the DesignWorks tab and do a feature to mesh validation. And we'll pick the two halves. Or in this case, I'll just control A, select everything. I'm going to say visualize errors. It's going to open up a new window. And we're going to go in and check the accuracy of this. This is what's going to amaze you. There's a mouse over. You can see those aren't thousands, those are tens. The only little area was on this fillet. It was off of just a tad. But you can see, we'll go all the way around this, the accuracy of this wrap. Even down to some of them holes that it can't even wrap, get into. So let's go ahead and generate some uh, information for our report. You can click on the model, and it will show you the report. Let's go take a look here. I'm going to click on a few more. We didn't get enough average, so let's take a look at that again. Let's go in to visualize the errors.
go back and read it. Let's click on this. Get a lot more balloons here. Let's go into these nickel nooks and crannies even. We'll go all over the model. You can see we're holding tents. We'll go into some of these really hard areas. You can click on as many areas as you want. So let's go ahead and check out our report. So we're going to go to our report. This drops us into Excel. You can customize it to whatever you want it to be. Your own headers, your own files, whatever you want to do with it. So here's your statistic for the overall surface. The mean is 5 tenths. And again, this is all live. So you can see there's no phony business going on here. Here's your mean. Here's the points we collected. Again, this report's customizable. It's just um, Excel. You can type in what you want to add up here. We're going to eventually be adding the picture of the uh, graphics to it. So again, the accuracy and repeatability of this is amazing. Tune in next week for more DesignWorks TV and have a great day.